Well, it's hard to believe, but Christmas is almost here, just a few more weeks away, yeah. Jenna. And for some, that means decorations and more household waste to get rid of once all the gifts have been opened. Yeah, but as TV6's Joshua Blount reports, local officials are reminding you to keep the safety of both your home and the environment in mind. Household waste and Christmas decorations can be a concern around the holiday. To help keep waste down, the Waste Commission of Scott County staff says to consider recycling. Um, over the holidays, we see about a 20% increase in material. So we want people to recycle those right things like cardboard, um, paper bags, um, uh, gift wrapping paper can be recycled as long as it doesn't have metallic um, coloring in it or shimmery. Um, we also want to see um, cardboard boxes. There's a lot of people getting uh, packages delivered and those cardboard boxes can be recycled. Fox says the commission operates four waste facilities for people to get rid of unwanted items in the proper way. When this doesn't happen, she says everyone has to work harder. When people uh, fail to recycle the right items, it does increase the workload um, for our staff. It increases the workload on collection. They're collecting more material um, and it increases um, our usage of our equipment um, and becomes uh, dangerous if it's a hazardous material that's coming through uh, the center. So we ask people to um, recycle right, uh, keeping it cardboard, paper, um, even your plastics, um, making sure that you're not throwing in uh, hazardous material like batteries or any type of chemical that was in a plastic bottle. Local officials say while more things get trashed, there's also a higher chance for decorations to catch fire. The American Red Cross says December is peak time for home fires. The spokeswoman for the Red Cross says some decorations require more attention than others. The big one is candles. We see a lot of fires from candles this time of year. Um, so make sure that if you do have re real candles, candles that they're out of the way of kids and pets and never leave them unattended. But a great option as well is to have um, fake battery powered candles that will make sure that it keeps your family safe. Thompson says families should also remember to buy a flame resistant Christmas tree if they aren't buying a real one. She also says to never plug more than three lights into an extinction cord as this could lead to a fire. It's so tough when you're meeting someone potentially on the worst day of their life and they're seeing everything that they have literally go up in flames it's it's awful and that's why you know as an organization we're there we're there to help with shelter we're there to help with immediate needs after a fire but of course another big part of our organization is preparedness and and trying to prevent as many of those fires from happening as possible in davenport joshua blount tv6 news